Grab your first aid kits, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm teaching you how to play Red Cross Karthus. Like all League of Legends builds based on nonprofit organizations, Red Cross Karthus should be played in the jungle, as most of your income will be from kind-hearted members of your team permitting you to farm at their jungle. Remember, it's their money, not yours. First, let's go over the rune page. Red Cross Karthus is all about preventing and tending to damage onto your team, be it physical or psychological. For this reason, take Guardian as your keystone to, to deflect more damage than a Pokemon Apology video. Font of Life and Revitalize to provide levels of healing that Donald Trump would revere as a miracle. And Conditioning. Like the real Red Cross, you must also be comfortable at operating while in debt, so take Future's Market. Finally, Approach Velocity will help you stick to targets better than Band-Aid brand adhesive bandit strips. And the emotional trauma that torments my every thought. Since you're probably a top tier jungler, you'll have two options of summoner spells. Teleport and Smite, so you can help two lanes at the same time. Or Heal and Smite, to top off anyone who seems to have gotten a boo-boo resisting tyrannical oppression and poverty-ridden warlord states. Before I can legally certify you as a field medic, I'll first teach you Karthus' abilities. Karthus' passive lets him defy the legal definition of deceased, able to do everything he could do while traditionally living, except for removing and auto-attacking. Unlike most legal loopholes, this one is best used publicly, flaunting this unusual talent while surrounded by five mostly peaceful protesters. Karthus Q is an AoE skill shot, and almost all the damage in this kit. It does double damage if it hits a single target, though this doesn't serve much purpose to your team, so we don't really care. Karthus W is a tennis net that breaks regulation with each additional skill point increasing its width. It slows anything that passes through, and shreds magic resist. Early game, this is your only way of helping your team outside of your guardian and summoner spells. Karthus E pokes a hole in his mana pool, causing it all to leak out. It does a little bit of damage in a circular AoE around him, and refunds mana for killing a unit. But since you need to kill a unit to do this, we try to avoid regenerating mana. Karthus R is by far the worst part of his kit. It's a global ability that damages every enemy champion. It does, however, occasionally save lives. By dealing significantly less damage than a standard Karthus, your teammates will mistakenly let people escape, thinking your ult will finish them off. Remember, that is a saved human life. Max Q, then W, then E. Keeping your E at a low level prevents the uncontrollable hemorrhaging of your mana pool. You want to start off by taking your blue buff, as this build, especially in the late game, runs out of mana faster than the United States funding to the WHO. Remember, being bound to the Hippocratic Oath means that you can't refuse to help a patient in need, despite how idiotic your teammates may be. It is your duty to treat them, no matter the cost. For your build, start off with a Cinder Hulk with Blue Smite. The tank stats are incredibly useful on Karthus, as the longer you're alive, the longer you're helping your team. Next up is where you really start becoming an irreplaceable asset to your team. Get a Rylize. Pretend your E with Rylize and Font of Life coats the enemy team with honey, and your teammates are bears. The healing received by your allies eating the honey is immeasurable in value, and they'll be very grateful for your team-oriented play. Next, you're going to want to get a dead man's plate. Again, the tank stats are crucial to helping you help your team, and the movement speed from the passive allows you to traverse deeper more quickly to tend to your allies' every need. After dead man's, pick up a locket to stop your team's bleeding before it happens. The immense health afforded to you by Cinder Hulk and Deadman's will result in a shield larger than the team's respect for everything you do for them. If your jungle isn't yet pillaged by mostly peaceful protesters, third world clan lords, or your team, you might be able to afford your last item. Here, get either an Ardent Sensor or a Redemption. If you have a lot of auto attackers, Ardent will give them a bigger boost than that provided to the inner city prison system by the United States government in the 1980s. Otherwise, Redemption is a solid alternative, as the care package healing encourages your team to fight where you use it, which is the perfect place to use your passive. As far as boots go, Mobis help you cover a lot of ground, and the sooner you reach a patient, the sooner you can begin providing your care. Be sure to keep in mind that not all wounds are physical. If anyone from your team, or the enemy team for that matter, seem like they need help, let them know that you care, and plead that they seek help that they need immediately. In conclusion, the chance of you winning with this build is just about the same as your chance of survival playing Reverse Russian Roulette. If you liked this video, consider checking out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash for more semi-functional dysfunctional builds.